Welcome to Two on Tuesday. As you can probably tell, I'm sitting out here in my Overland Expedition trailer. And the reason is I've been getting a lot of questions lately on the website. Hey, what's going on with the trailer, Mike? I haven't heard anything. Um, you mentioned it a while back and nothing's happened. Well, <laughs> life gets in the way, right? The other day, a couple Jeep guys drove into my driveway and uh, said, hey, what's that, uh, what's that thing parked behind your barn? It looks kind of cool. So I figure, figured it was kind of maybe about time to uh, talk about it a little bit. And there's actually been a fair amount going on behind the scenes. I'm gonna be doing a, a video series, uh, Building an Overland Expedition Trailer. It's gonna be separate from the Two on Tuesday thing. So you can kind of look at this as episode 10 of Two on Tuesday and part one of uh, Building an uh, Overland Expedition Trailer, uh, all in one. Um, but make sure at the end of the video you smash that uh, subscription button or down below and um, be sure to uh, follow along as uh, we do the build out over the next couple months. So there was a Craigslist ad for a 2008 shoot military trailer uh, in Long Island. So I took the Port Jeff ferry down, picked it up, uh, brought it back with the Unimog. Did not pay that price that you're seeing right there, that's for sure. And uh, the first order of business when we got back was we determined that I would need to extend the tongue to get the uh, trailer farther back from the rear of the Unimog. After all the cardboard uh, mock-ups and the uh, design phase was done, you can see from this picture right here, the extended tongue was on and it was sitting nicely away from the Unimog. It was time to go back to the shop to construct the frame, which was uh, made out of square tube aluminum once again. Um, this process took a while because there were so many welds involved, as you can see from some of these pictures. We wanted to make sure that uh, we had everything measured out right for windows, ventilation, uh, rooftop hatches, etc. And... Um, you know, upon uh, finishing the frame, this is at the point where you can see here the skin is on, the tire mount was made, and uh, it's back now uh, pretty much in this stage ready to go. The concept for the trailer probably started, I don't know, many, many years ago. I've had uh, Land Rovers and Jeeps and uh, the Mercedes Unimog and you know a few other vehicles in between and I have tried various different sort of overland setups if you will um, I've done the the fold-out rooftop tent I've done the pop-up rooftop tent uh, I've set up a vehicle where the you know the sleeping quarters was inside and I guess I kind of reached a point where I felt that um, none of these setups were perfect for me and I think really realistically, you've got to look at what you're trying to accomplish with your vehicle and, and your trips in general. Um, but for me anyways, what I found was is it was really difficult moving from uh, campsite to campsite or um, you know if you're on the road for a number of weeks, the constant setup and takedown um, of a vehicle-based environment was difficult. Um, and, and, and difficult for a couple of reasons. One, in the time that it took and the, and the effort that went into it. But probably for me anyways, more importantly, um, sometimes I want to set up and then, you know, maybe I want to go into town or maybe I want to uh, ride with, you know, a passenger or two passengers. And this became really difficult. Obviously, if you pop up your tent, uh, you're done. You're not moving anymore, right? So that's kind of what gave me the idea of, hey, what about a trailer? Because I could, you know, in theory, you know, arrive in a camp, set up my trailer, go to the grocery store, um, you know, go to uh, a restaurant, um, go for supplies, uh, potentially even go explore other, um, you know, maybe, maybe off-road things that I, I might not be comfortable doing with the trailer. So all of those things I took kind of into consideration and that's sort of where the trailer concept came from. One of the things I found was, you know, there are a number of trailers, um, you know, pre-made trailers on the market. And I, I guess the, the quick answer of why I didn't buy one of those uh, is maybe twofold. 
One, currently I'm, I'm, I'm based with the Mercedes Unimog, which is a pretty big truck. And I felt like I wanted to pair something with it that was, you know, at least equal, um, you know, size-wise. It didn't look like I was, you know, towing this little thing behind it. Um, and then probably two, uh, and this is just the honest truth, I like building things. Um, you know, I built, uh, you know, different solar systems for my truck. Um, you know, over the years we've done stuff with, you know, onboard hot water shower systems and, you know, custom roof racks that we've built for the Land Rovers. Um, and, you know, just, just whatever it is. I made a custom bumper one time. Um, so I like building things. And I said, well, here's an opportunity to not only, um, you know, try out the Expedition, uh, you know, Overland setup in a trailer, but also maybe, you know, get involved in doing some of the build of it. And, um, you know, so that's kind of where we're at. So that, that, that's sort of the why. I looked around on the web to try to find, you know, what a suitable trailer would be. And that's when I came upon, uh, you know, this trailer here. I actually had hoped to road test this trailer last fall at the uh, Overland Expo East. And, you know, as you can, well, you, you can look around and see, it's not done and not ready to be road tested. So anyways, let's look at the inside of this thing a little bit. Um, as you can see, we used an uh, inch and a half uh, square tube aluminum uh, to frame it out. And then we skinned it with, um, you know, aluminum uh, sheet, I guess if you want to call it. But everything uh, on this entire uh, trailer is basically aluminum. And it was aluminum from the factory when the military did it as well. Um, so I wanted to kind of keep the, uh, the, uh, the weight down, number one, and number two, uh, sort of keep the uh, structural integrity the same. So I went with all um, aluminum as well in my construction. What's coming up next is, um, kind of see up top here, um, this is where the roll-up door is going to go. And um, the challenge, my original design to this was that it was going to be a two-part uh, two door where the top part, um, you know, went up. Or, or out, and then the bottom part, as you can see, is angled a little bit. It's hard to see that, but if you look at it, it's angled. That was gonna fold down as steps. Uh, that concept became difficult, um, too expensive to build. So what I am doing is a roll-up door um, that comes out, and I will have some kind of fold-down uh, step system. I haven't quite figured all of that yet. The front opening <coughs> is going to be uh, also a roll-up door. And that gives us the ability to have, you know, a wide open uh, environment. So, um, you know, you don't feel like you're claustrophobic inside this thing. So you can see that the trailer itself, um, I did not modify any part of the, the base trailer. Um, and it was, uh, I think as I mentioned, it's brand new. And, um, you know, maybe there's a few little scuffs on it, most of which I think I've done since I've owned it. Um, the tires uh, are original. Everything on this thing is original um, and uh, it was never used. We extended the, um, the tongue, if you will. Uh, you can see the piece that we put in here in the middle. Uh, we built in and it, we felt like the, this thing right here, the, the, uh, you know, the whole main structure of it was too long. So to make it structurally more sound, we added these two um, outriggers on the side and we tied those back uh, to the frame of the vehicle as well. We go down and take a look at your ground clearance is awesome on this thing. I think you can also see here that the uh, trailer has a fully uh, independent trailing arm suspension. It has uh, shock absorbers on each side. There's 37 inch Goodyear uh, rubber on this trailer. The lighting system is all 24 volt and converted to all LED, which is very nice. So next up is doors, exterior lighting, uh, windows, and prep uh, ready for paint. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll look forward to uh, seeing you real soon, both on the trail and uh, in our next update on our Building Our Overland Expedition trailer. See you next week.
Thanks for watching this video. If you like what we're doing, be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the truck and tree symbol to your right. Once again, thanks and hope to see you soon.